Let's take a look at now how to do our, um, it's our, our green building materials research. This is all about the materials. And remember, when we come up here to these boxes here, these are intended for you to place images, not just the text. Uh, your images that you develop down in the further slides go in this area. So I'm going to delete that now and just remember that I need to do that. And of course, you'll put your, your name right here. You'll replace this with your name. And let's go ahead and take a look at the first one on here, Renewable Materials. So we need a definition of renewable materials. And um, there is a, there's a research document that goes with this. So I've got them side by side. And so when I come over here, I'll want to get that definition I can move down, and lo, lo and behold, here's a definition of that. So I can copy that, and I can, when I'm over here, I'm going to paste without formatting. And it might fit, it might not. I might have to do a little bit of moving stuff around and adjusting some things, but it ought to come pretty close. So now I've got my definition. Okay. And now I've got to get my, my Google prompt, which is renewable materials. And again, I'll paste without formatting. And then I got to make it big enough to, to see. So I'll probably need to make that quite a bit bigger so that I can make sure that I can see that. Oop, oh, I blew that. Let's do that again. paste without formatting and get that to fit. That's probably going to be around a 48, maybe even a little larger. Remember, this is a really big piece of paper that we've got here. Okay, and then I need to get some stuff from, uh, from the response. And so there's a whole bunch of things that I can say that these are sample materials that are renewable. Here's more information about it over here. Uh, we can say these renewable do this stuff. So let me go ahead and I'm going to take those and copy. And so it's up to you to put from the response what you think is most important. And we'll come down here. And so you need to read these and then be somewhat um, so that looks pretty good I'm going to make these ones centered I think it'll look better so you'll do a little bit of work to make this look really nice so that it's easy to read easy to see those might even get a little bit larger and then I'll have to make this one a little bit smaller so everything fits okay Okay, and it and it fits not quite. I think I need to make this all oh, maybe one smaller to get it to fit better. Okay, and if I want to, I can make that all centered. And then I'd have a follow-up question. I noticed down here that there is some information about formaldehyde and if those formaldehydes are used in in these um, that it's no longer really sustainable. So I'm going to ask a question there. How much formaldehyde needs to be used in order to make a material non-sustainable? That's going to be an example of a follow-up question. So now I've gotten this, and I've read all this, and now I've got the, the parts that I want from it. So I need some keywords, and I remembered I, I looked up some keywords uh, earlier, and so I'm going to put in here, I've got bamboo flooring. That was one of my keywords, and I'll look at some images about that and 
you know, bamboo floor. Wow, look, it can look at lots of different ways. I think this is kind of a nice classical bamboo flooring one. So I can copy that image. My keyword was bamboo flooring. And I'll paste my image in. It's kind of small, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And remember, again, I want to do a little bit of work with this, with my formatting. And there's a few things you can do. One is you can put a light border around it and put a drop shadow. But then there's also some adjustments, um, actually some uh, reflection and burr, blur that you can put on it too. So you might even put a little bit of, of reflection on it and make it maybe even a little bit opaque. And you can do the same thing with your drop shadow. You can put a blur radius on that drop shadow and maybe a distance and an angle and an opacity. So there's some more things for you to learn about. These are all graphical presentation techniques that designers and architects and developers use in the marketplace in industry so that their work gets selected it's got to look good to the client in order to uh, get past <laughs> the just asking for information and wanting to get it made so at this point i would put in my other three ones and I want to give you an example now. I'm just going to use my snipping tool and I'm going to take these images and of course yours will have all the images and I'll put that in up here under renewable materials. Okay, there we go. So that gives me my renewable materials. If you want, you can actually just take the four images and I just put those on the wrong one too. This was, I put this on the wrong slide. Uh, you guys will get it right. You can actually put all four of your images up here if you want to space things out a little bit more and you can make one of them large and put three smaller ones here. So lots of things that you can do in in this sheet to make it look visually appealing okay this one doesn't need the annotations because you have them down here all right so there we go that's uh and we can we can get these all onto the right ones here right i can take this put it where it belongs and rewrite this and I can take all of these three and I can put those where those belong don't know what I did to get to the wrong slide but there we go all right so that's how you would do it and remember this one here okay I can either take all four of those and put them up here or I can take them individually, one, two, three, four, and arrange them up in this area as I wish. All right, there we go. That is your uh, green building materials research document.